Well, anyway, let's go back and recap. Um, let me pull up the card real quick for you guys. I'm going to be here. We're going to be streaming during the main event, the main event only. But overall, I'm digging this card. Let me tell you what fights I like. Oh, wait. We might be able to get some interviews. Look. You know what? I want to listen to this. You want to listen to this? Let's listen to this. Might as well, right? ...and stack himself, Steven Jackson, right here to talk about everything we just saw. All right, gentlemen. It's done. Nothing left but the fight. But we do have... I don't think I want to listen to this unless they get the fighters up there, guys. Well, anyway, let me tell you who the card is. So look, now on now on on YouTube, okay, at 7 p.m. Eastern, and on the regular Showtime page, you're going to get Brandon Lee versus Zachary Ochoa. That's going to be a fun fight. And then you're going to get Raz Hat Butaya versus Amante Stanionis. The reason why that fight is important is because right now that's the only um, mandatory at 147 pounds. So the winner of this. And especially since the WBA is consolidating their belts and allow this fight to happen because Ugas was supposed to fight Butayev. And then the winner of that was supposed to fight Stanionis. Uh, uh, Ugas was pissed. But now that we're getting Spence versus Ugas, the winner has to fight Butayev Stanionis unless they fight Terrence Crawford. So that's why this fight is going to be important. It's going to be on regular Showtime and on Showtime YouTube. So basically, this fight between, uh, let me pull your resumes up, Butayev and Stanionis. And I've been covering both of them for a couple for a couple of years now, especially um, um, Stanionis, Amantis Stanionis, the Lithuanian. They was getting on me my first uh, Stanionis video because I didn't know how to pronounce his name, but I got it now. Stanionis. Are you like that? Amantis Stanionis. Anyway. This is Raz Hab. I still fuck up his name. I don't know if it's 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 Rads Rads Hab Rads Hab Butayev. Fourteen and 0, 11 KOs, twenty eight years old. The moniker No Mercy. He beat Jamal James, stopped him in nine. I was never really high on Jamal Chain uh, Jamal James as a uh, champion. Now the Boost Petten fight, the best Putin fight. I gotta go back and watch this. I don't remember this fight. What's the scoop? Anybody in the chat, any, any degenerate out there, watch this and can tell me how this went? Well, anyway, here's Stanionis. Stanionis has uh, been fighting on a lot of PBC cards. Like you can find his fights on the PBC um, uh, YouTube page. 27-0 with 13 KOs, 9K, uh, with 27-0, 20, 27 years old, 13-0 with 9 KOs. If I'm correct, all of his fights are available online. Um, Luis Colazzo, Il, Tomas Delorme. That was a nice, solid fight. And then outside of that, Justin Deloach. But overall, nice, solid skill set. Rajab, that's how you, how I know you're telling the truth. I can't trust you guys sometimes. Well, anyway, because the WBA has been uh, consolidating their belts, the winner of that is the, is the mandatory for Spence versus Ugas. That is the person who's next. Now, if you look right here before we get to, um, let's wait until we run back the Spence versus Uga's weigh-in before we talk about the 147-pound division. So let's go back to the card. All right. So that's going to wrap up the Showtime portion, the YouTube portion. It's going to be Brandon Lee versus Zach Ochoa, and then it's going to be Butayev versus Stanionis. Then the pay-per-view is going to open up with this guy right here, Jose Villazuela. Versus Francisco Vargas. Let's go back and uh, recap their weigh-in real quick. Let's see. Is this it? Hold on. I got you. By the way, thanks for watching. Take your time out. Like the video. Subscribe. We're going to be here streaming during the main event tomorrow. If anybody, uh, if anybody gives a damn. Bye. DraftKings Sportsbook, and Riley Auto Parts, and Memory, starring Liam Neeson. We get to show brief highlights, too. Our opening attraction features an exciting showdown in the welterweight division. Welcome our fighters to the stage at this time. First from Riverside. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to um, talk about the fight. We're going to recap the fight. Well, we're going to recap the weigh-in, and then talk about the fight. So right now, they're actually doing... Um, Crowley and Jose Zito Lopez opens up the pay-per-view, I'm guessing, right? Yeah, Crowley and... Well, for anyone who wants to see the Butayev weigh in, let me let this play then. Let this play. 
Here is the WBA number one ranked welterweight in the world, Amantas Stanionis. That's Putin was on, on the juice. And his opponent is the defending champion fighting out of Indio, California by way of Russia. His record, 14 wins, no losses, one no contest, 11 wins coming by way of knockout. Welcome the WBA regular welterweight world champion, Rod Zab, no mercy, Butayev. I'm going with the classy one says. The classy Jimmy Lennon, Jimmy Lennon, says he's, damn, what do he say again? And it looks like our fighters are ready to step onto the scale. What do you call him? Russia. His record, 14 wins, no losses, one no contest, 11 wins coming by way of knockout. Welcome the WBA regular welterweight world champion, Rod Zab, no mercy, Butayev. Oh, it's Rod Zab. The H is silent. Got it now. Rod Zab. And it looks like our fighters are ready to step onto the scale. 12 rounds of boxing, WBA regular welterweight championship of the world. First, the challenger, a 2016 Olympian undefeated challenger, Amantas Stanionis. Stanionis. You got to do that at the end. One hundred forty six and a half pounds, one forty six and a half pounds for a Montes Stanionis. No, this is the Limit mandatory one forty seven. He makes it. Ain't no getting out easily. of it. They have to fight the winner. And his of Spence. opponent is the defending champion making the first defense of his title. The undefeated WBA welterweight world champion Radzab. No Radzab. mercy, Butayev. Yeah, the winner of this has to fight Spence Ugas or it has to be Crawford. And the winner of this is going to have to take a step aside deal and likely be the co feature and again. Pounds the same weight as his opponent. Butayev weighs in at 146 and one half pounds. This is a unification of the WBA interim and the WBA world at 147. People really don't believe that the WBA is being forced to consolidate their titles. They have to make just one champion. And if you look at the other divisions, they've been keeping up with it because they were going to be um, basically not sanctioned in the United States by the what is it the um the abc and it wasn't going to be recognized they was about to lose millions and millions of dollars and they're losing millions now because they have to consolidate these belts and not have four champions in each division but they were about to lose all of the money it was like a big deal i did a whole video on it it was big news in boxing but yes by the end of by the end of i'm going to say by may of next year there has to be one champion for the WBA in each division. There's no way around it. Unless like special circumstances like this for a unification to take place. And Ugas did a lot of bitching and complaining to get to this point. Like they they was like, no, you gotta unify this belt. And both and of these guys ladies and gentlemen, Showtime Championship probably got a nice solid amount of money. WBA welterweight champion from Spence and Lucas and PBC. Undefeated. Radza Butayev, Emantas Stanionis. So it's Radza. The H is silent. So the ZH is like one letter and shit. Well, fans, that concludes that? the weigh-in for our Showtime Championship boxing portion of our program tomorrow.